Welcome back to the rest of the story. You guys can thank my dad for letting me use his cell phone because this thing is dead. I forgot my GoPro because I wasn't planning on coming across this. Uh, it's been here for a while, but you know what? In the heart of the Great Plains Turbo Chisel video I did, a lot of good comments on that. Um, I did know for a fact that after going home and looking at that turbo chisel, the specs on it, it's 30 horsepower a shank, and that would bring us, well, we'd be like 50 horsepower short on the 8235R, and the problem is, is that any primary tillage tools we look at, the 4640 has to be able to pull them for the simple fact that the 8235 is maxed out as far as available jobs it has. Um, this, once again, is something that we wouldn't be able to pull. <laughs> uh, this is a John Deere uh, 714 and uh, what did I say, it was 13 shank or 15? 13 shank chisel. Um, it's been here for a while. Chisel plows, I will say guys, they're not, they really don't seem as prominent in this area as they used to be. Um, and even growing up, do you remember a lot of guys chisel plowing much, Dad, or was it more... Everybody used to? Okay, well, everybody went from five bottom plowing um, to chisel plowing because chisel plowing was faster and a lot simpler than uh, five bottom plowing. Plus you could put an amateur in who doesn't know how to, how to five bottom plow per se, but it's pretty easy to know how to run a chisel. But you, you don't know how to five bottom plow. I could figure it out if I wanted to. Hey, there is a small chance that I may be five bottom plowing this spring. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but I may end up helping a, helping a friend out. So I may, that should make, some, uh, make for a pretty good video. But um, myself, I'm, I'm an open book as far as what I'm interested in as far as primary tillage right now. Um, I'm really not sure how crazy I am about going for a disc ripper. A chisel plow, I mean, you know, when it works, don't fix it. I like chisel plowing. It, in our soils, it works pretty pretty well. Um, that Great Plains, uh, I've never really seen one work. I've only seen, I can't say that. I've only seen one in this area of Grant County, or southwest Wisconsin, myself, that I've seen get used. And um, I don't know anybody else that has a... Uh, Great Plains turbo chisel or max chisel. Um, the max chisel is what I saw from the Kentucky uh, Louisville Kentucky Farm Show. Um, myself, an 11 shank chisel plow, a little bit smaller than this one, um, would be more up my alley as far as what I'd be interested in. But it all depends on what I have available cash wise. You guys want me to go to that? To that auction but i have plans that day otherwise i would have made possibly made a day out of it um got to keep things interesting around here right um you guys can't see it is blue sky pretty awesome out it's 45 degrees out the snow the little bit of snow we had left is melting and i gotta say it gives you spring fever <laughs> um you can't help but get get excited looking at tillage equipment because I'm ready to get back in the field. Dad's not ready quite yet, but he's getting there. He's warming up to the idea. So, that's what I have to say about that. People are watching me. I guess people quite, aren't quite used to seeing people do uh, vlogs or videos yet. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.